no weapon that is formed against you will prosper, and every tongue that accuses you in judgment you will condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their vindication is from me, declares the Lord. Isaiah 54 colon 17. The above is a Bible verse, that was most likely recited by the unforgettable prophet Daniel Abadunrin, who is remembered by most Nigerians to date for his miracle mission that later became his demise. It is very fascinating and eye-opening. The year was 1991 when visitors from all over had come to the zoological garden in the University of Ibadan, to have fun and see a broad array of animals constituting mammals, birds, amphibians, and reptiles. The city of Ibadan in Oyo State, southwestern Nigeria, is one of the largest in West Africa. It is home to the first university in Nigeria, the University of Ibadan, established by the colonial masters in 1948. One of the most famous attributes of this great stronghold of learning is its zoological garden, which is one of the earliest in the country. The zoo plays host to various animals, but the most venerable of them all are the lions. For many visitors, a trip to the esteemed zoo is not complete without seeing the dignified lions. Historical accounts say, on that particular day, while business was going on at the zoo, as usual, the prophet Daniel approached workers of the zoo, and asked them to allow him entry into the lion's cage to reportedly showcase wonders, and proclaiming that the god whom the biblical Daniel serves still exists. To which they had refused in fear for his life in a den alone with the lions, but the prophet was insistent on persuading the workers. It is uncertain whether they granted him permission or, he snuck into the lion's den, but he was soon seen approaching the lions in a red robe and his Bible in his armpit. People at the scene were baffled, some tried to convince him to stop and get out of the den, however, others looked on waiting to see a miracle he did not falter in his mission. He approached the lions reciting Bible verses. Alas when he got close enough, the lions viciously tore him apart. It is said as they followed him. He threw his Bible. The prophet's robe and the Bible were drenched in his blood upon retrieval. Immediately after he was killed, some said that the lions had been possessed and should be taken to be slaughtered, others condemned him for his odd act.